Hey everyone, the artificial trainer here. Welcome in, welcome back to my channel. One of the biggest problems we face in AI generation is getting the video to maintain the likeness of our subject over a long period of time, right? So the face will morph or as the generation goes on, you start to lose the likeness of the face. Well, stand in video has solved that for us. And all it really is is a LoRa that attaches onto your wand model and makes a big difference for maintaining that likeness. So if you like AI video content, hit the like and subscribe button below. I've got a ton of that already on my channel and a ton more coming. Don't wanna miss out on all of the latest news around AI video models. So let's jump right into the downloads. How this is gonna work. I'm going to show you how to do one and then it'll be the same process for all the rest of them. In the description below, you can find the links to all of these files. You can also find them on my Patreon, which is where I'm showing them right now. If you want to support on the Patreon, I always appreciate it. It helps me keep the channel running. All right, so I'll download the stand in Laura as the example. We just click on the link, it starts downloading. And then once it's downloaded, so we can see it in our downloads folder here. All we need to do is take the stand-in LoRa that was downloaded and we drag it into our models LoRa's folder. And the reason I knew to put it in the models LoRa's folder is because right here it says place in ComfyUI models slash LoRa. So you'll do that for the rest of the links in the description below. Just for the text encoders, you put them in models slash text encoders for the diffusion models, models slash diffusion models, for the VAE models slash VAE. So I try to make it simple for you. Just leave the model, leave the video running, watch the rest of the video while the models are downloaded and you'll be ready to go, ready to, to run your first generation once all the model downloads finish. Okay, your other option is to use Artificial Studio. So I have a selection in here for stand-in video. It also has a URL where you can check out some of the examples from stand in. And then all you do is click download selected models when you're ready to download. And then on artificial studio, you also probably want the light X to V Laura's as well. So you can download those too. If you're using artificial studio, you can use the app links selection of comfy UI here and open it up that way, or you can just open up comfy. However you typically open it. All right, and then grab the workflow. It should be in the description below. If it's not, if I haven't gotten to it yet, it's in the it's on the Patreon, you can download it from there. All right, and then drag the workflow in, and then this is what you'll get. There's two options I have on here to run this. One is just regular, it's kind of like text to video, but with the stand-in embed. And then I also do have a vase option as well so we'll go through the stand-in one first and then we'll go through the base one after first thing to do is just make sure all your models are are correct so in the wand video laura select you're going to want your stand-in model your stand-in laura in your model loader select a version of one 2.1 text to video i would recommend either fp16 or fp8 scaled if you're running on a lower G or lower VRAM GPU, you can connect up the block swap args here. I'm gonna bypass this for now. I shouldn't need it for these generations. And then select your light X to V LoRa that you downloaded and your UMT5 XXL text encoder. You can also use their, the native version if you want. So you would just load clip with one as your type set up text encode and then there's a one native bridge text embed bridge and you would just connect that up at the text embeds instead of the text encode cached the text encode cached is kind of nice because it it has some other options for preserving vram so that's what i'm using in this video all right, and then the magic of Thandon is really just encoding this one image latent and passing it into this one video ad stand-in latent. And that's really all we're doing. This, this whole section right here is just cropping the face out. 
and then we're passing that cropped face in as a latent. All that's left to do is upload your image, give it a width and a height. So your best options are typically 832 by 480 and 1280 by 720. And then you just need to change your prompt. So I'm just gonna make it a woman doing a dance at a party. Let's say a TikTok dance at a party. We'll do 81 frames and let's give it a shot. All right. So here's our output. You can see it maintains the likeness super well. Even if you if you look at the dots on the hat, even those are maintained really well. The glasses look great. And this is only at 480p, so obviously it's not the best like realism quality, but a pretty great generation for you know, matches up the shirt and it maintains the likeness really, really well. Okay, so that's just the text to video with kind of like a reference image functionality. Next, we are gonna look at combining it with vase and doing a like a control net output. All right, so I already have all the vase stuff set up for you. And for this one, I am going to use this video of this woman running. And then I have just a custom mask. It's literally just a square that I drew that you can upload in here. If you don't want to use a mask, just take this resize node here and drag that up into the input frames. So that'll just take your control nets. So th these images, these images, and it'll just pass those in instead of using the masked ones. So these ones, I, I composited the control net over the video using the mask. All right, and then the last thing you need to do if you want to use the vase functionality is connect the vase embeds up to the one video ad stand in latent. All right, and then I'm going to bump the resolution up a little bit it's 1280 by 720 just because the woman's a little bit smaller in this so i probably won't get great likeness if i'm at 480p and then if you change these it should resize throughout the entire workflow last thing is just change the prompt so i'm going to say a woman running in a warehouse oh and one more thing before we start the generation we have to remember to turn our vase module on you can also disconnect this or just bypass this when you're not using the vase functionality, but I, I choose to bypass usually. So make sure that's on and then we'll run it. There is the generation combined with vase. Now I have found with vase, the likeness deteriorates a little bit, um, especially when you're farther out like this, right? Like the glasses don't look perfect. The party hat actually looks pretty good, but with vase, there's definitely a little bit more of a challenge keeping the likeness. Closer up videos I found are better than farther away. And then the other thing I found is the more you're able to describe your subject, the better the outcome's gonna be as well. But it is pretty good generation, right? It uh, matches what we expect vase to be able to do. So because we can combine this combine this with vase. The possibilities with this are, are pretty endless. You could even add a, if you add a reference image in, you'd probably even get better coherence over the entire generation. But that is it for today's video. This is a really fun one to play around with. Really, really good if you're having trouble maintaining likeness throughout your videos. If you have any trouble with it, head to the Discord, hit that like and subscribe button below. I'll have a ton more video AI content coming soon. This stuff's releasing at a rapid pace. And I'll keep you up to date on everything. I appreciate you watching this video and I'll talk to you in the next one.